Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how to use the quad crasher to the maximum potential. So if you guys know back from chapter one, the quad crasher already existed, except a lot of people are using it to... What is this guy shooting me? Let me kill this guy real quick. Anyways, <clears throat> before I was so rudely interrupted by these people, as you can tell, we are in a very live arena game. Essentially, what I wanted to make this video about is the quad crasher, because a lot of people seem to sort of underestimate its power in this season. But I want to reassure you that it's actually a very useful item. So one of the things that people were used to back in chapter one was the simple fact that you could fly across the map continuously. Now, Epic Games has nerfed this, right? And you can't really do that anymore. But I really want to show you a couple tricks to show you what you can do with the quad crasher, because it is very useful. And I think a lot of people don't really understand its power. So first off, a lot of people understand that you can sort of go very far distances, right? The one thing you want to understand right away, right? Is of course, if you just drive the quad crasher normally, as you know, most people would drive it just like this, you'll see that it only goes up to 34, 35, 36 kilometers per hour miles per hour whatever right actually straight up on the car or the ground a car actually goes much faster the quad crusher can actually go much further than expected so the way that you do that usually would be to set up a ramp like this and then sort of boost at the very end of the ramp right you can go very very far kind of like this right you can you can do this repeatedly and go pretty far across the map right so while you can't continuously use the quad crusher as it's supposed to be used you know fly across the map over and over like you used to be able to you can still do it to an extent and then you can use this strategy repeatedly now what if you're playing solos right what if you don't have a duo on the back who can continuously place ramps i have a better solution for you the solution is is to use all these brick rocks around the map and they're everywhere by the way and use them to sort of tip your crowd crusher into a upward angle like this and then you could use it to fly just like that right? it's really easy and i want you to notice how simple it is to do repeatedly and that's the biggest thing look random rock on the ground i'm just gonna tip my quad crusher up and i'm gonna fly and notice how fast i go right and so in competitive games there's a pro and con to this so i want you to try this in scrim see how it works out i personally have done it in some scrims myself and i think it is completely fine as long as you worry about this one thing right the area that you're flying into you sort of have to be careful and sort of think about where it is on the map and ask yourself is this like a high traffic area am i flying past the poi am i flying past the loot path or is this a low traffic area and if it's a low traffic area the chances of you getting beamed out of midair is very low however if it's a high traffic area you have to be very careful because you can get beamed out of the air by the time you land if you're you know 150 hp you're probably gonna die so just be careful about that fact and you'll find that the quad crasher is actually very very useful it's very useful like it's so so easy to pull off using these rocks right and i think you'll have a really easy time doing so so that rock right there is pretty flat i don't think it's actually a good angle to go after but let's say i was coming at it from this angle obviously right i can just go really really far using this tactic and so you can cover really big distances on the map faster than a car so you really want to try this out and see how it works for you. And I think you'll find that it actually is a really, really good strat. Take some practice and sort of understand which rocks you can and cannot do. So this rock is very doable, right? And just like that, I can immediately go to the other side of the lake. And I'm sure a lot of people are aware about this quad crasher technique, but a lot of people just give up after they realize that you can't fully fly with it anymore. But you can fly, you just can't do it continuously. So you sort of have to land over and over, right? So this is a technique right and if you get really really good with it and do some practice in arena you sort of can get the trajectory right every single time it'll take some practice but i think this is the power of quad crashers in the new season guys and i think you guys should absolutely practice it because it can be useful there's a guy hiding here let's take him out real quick no okay what i do suggest guys is do not take your first attempt at this too seriously I played so many arena games today and you know yesterday using this technique and I've been horrible at the beginning right so it takes some practice really try this in arena or even if you care about arena points go into pub matches and try to go around the map and, and do it all over and over again and I think you'll find that quad crashers are a very good tool for you in competitive and I do not think epic games will change this one because it is pretty balanced right the old quad crasher you could literally go from camp cuddle all the way to the right side of the map without touching the ground however in this case that's not possible right the boost is too long 
I think you can actually get two boosts without falling off. So try this out. Tell me how it goes in the comments. Come back to this video and let me know. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, this is a very useful trick, guys. Try it out. Peace.